Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. For today's video, I've got some interesting news that just came out which affects the Fantastic Beasts film franchise. It turns out, Johnny Depp, the actor that plays the main antagonist in the films, Grindelwald, has been fired by Warner Brothers. Just today, November 6th, he left the following post on his Instagram. In light of recent events, I would like to make the following short statement. Firstly, I'd like to thank everybody who has gifted me with their support and loyalty. Secondly, I wish to let you know that I've been asked to resign by Warner Brothers from my role as Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts, and I've respected and agreed to that request. Finally, I wish to say this. The surreal judgement of the court in the UK will not change my fight to tell the truth, and I confirm that I plan to appeal. My resolve remains strong, and I intend to prove that the allegations against me are false. My life and career will not be defined by this moment in time. Thank you for reading. Sincerely, Johnny Depp. The news comes after the closing of a legal battle between Depp and a UK newspaper over libel claims that Depp was abusive to his wife. Grindelwald's character is integral to the Harry Potter series. He is the main antagonist, the terrorizer of the Wisting world, and without him, there's not much of a film left. So now you're probably asking yourself, will the films continue? Rest assured, the films will continue. We heard just earlier last month that filming had begun on Fantastic Beasts 3, and given that filming has only just resumed, I'm sure they went ahead without him. I'll also say this, his casting was never exceedingly popular to begin with, as many people just thought, hey, that's Johnny Depp, and not, ooh, that's Grindelwald. Even though I learned to like him in the role, I don't think that he is irreplaceable by any means, and I'm interested to see who will be recast in the role moving forward. We've also got three more films to go so we're probably going to become more accustomed to the new actor. Warner Bros made the following statement in response to dropping the actor. Johnny Depp will leave the Fantastic Beasts franchise. We thank him for his work on the film so far. Fantastic Beasts 3 is currently in production, and the role of Gellert Grindelwald will be rescheduled. The film will hit theatres in the summer of 2022. It's interesting that we're only just now seeing the summer 2022 release date, as previously the film was reported to be released November 2021. In fact, the film was originally supposed to come out this November, but for reasons like a script to rewrite and COVID, the film had to be pushed back. This is the first I've heard about the summer 2022 date, but oh well, I'm just happy that the film is still going forward and the magic will continue. In 2016, we got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the first installment of the five-part film series that introduced us to a wizarding world during a different time placing an emphasis on all sorts of new and never before seen characters, creatures, and places. We saw the wizarding world in America for the first time, creatures like Nifflers, new magic, and even a new antagonist. In 2018, the follow-up to the first film and the second part of the five film series was released, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. The Crimes of Grindelwald expanded on this new world further, but in order to make things even more interesting, began to incorporate elements of the wizarding world that we already knew and loved, in the form of characters, places, and dialogue. The film ended on a pretty big cliffhanger, and the films were clearly not released without the intention of completing the five-part series, and so many questions remained unanswered when the credits began to roll. All five films were originally supposed to be released in the following order, 2016, 2018, 2020, 2022, 2024. So now we're probably looking at 2016, 2018, 2022, 2024, 2026. And I guess the only good news about that is that, in a weird way, prolonging the movies keeps the magic alive a bit. I guess the next question is, who will be the next Gellert Grindelwald? Leave a comment down below. Until next time, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.